What is up, guys? It's Tesnari, the asset of course, I'm not getting Town 43. And today, we're gonna be looking at another asset of course, a content manager feature. So, today, we'll be extracting a KN5 file. So, what is a KN5 file? KN5 file is what Acero Corsa uses as its proprietary 3D format. So if we open the folder of this abart500, we can see that it has abart500.kn5 here. Then it has some LOD models. These are level of detail models. So when the car is further away from the camera, it will show less detail on the 3D model. But what we are interested in is the biggest one. So the 43 kilobyte, 43,000 kilobyte abart 500.kn5. So how do we extract it? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to go and watch my first tutorial on how to enable developer mode on Content Manager. And the next step you want to do is you want to go into the Content tab and into the car you want to extract. So in this case, we're going to be looking at the Abart 500 SS. And in this case, we're going to go into the CM showroom. And we can see the car right here as usual. You're probably pretty familiar with this view. But as we have developer mode enabled, we can see the unpack LOD KN5 file button right here and if you do not get the unpack LOD KN5 button right here don't forget to go into the settings tab into the content manager plugins tab and make sure your FBX converter uh, plugin is installed click here to install it there's gonna be a button it will download it for you and it will be incredibly useful in this tutorial you needed to go in for with the tutorial back to the tutorial so as we press this file it processes through it and then we get an FPX file guys don't forget if you like this content don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment on your favorite part of this video so I can make more videos on how to use a Zero Corsa content manager. So and a cool feature I would like to uh, show you as well is if we go into the uh, car parameters tab we can also export all of the LOD files if we really do need them. But in this case all we are interested in is the LOD0 file. Next thing we want to do is we want to start Blender and we want to find out how to actually import this file into Blender. So first thing we have is this default scene. So we delete everything in the default scene and we press import FBX file and then we put the URL of uh, the file path of the file that we had just extracted, which opens automatically in the file browser after you press the unpack KN5 button. And right here we can see the FBX file of the LOD that we had just extracted. And guys, don't forget if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment what your favorite part of this video is so that I can keep making these videos for you. So we double click on the FBX file to import it into Blender and it's going to take its uh, time importing it into Blender. And the issue here is that I do not have GPU acceleration enabled. So with what you want to do is you want to go into preferences and then we want to go into the systems tab and then we need to select here, here which cycles render devices we have enabled. So if you have an NVIDIA 
CUDA GPU, then you want to use the CUDA. So right now I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 with 8 gigabytes of VRAM installed. And for, uh, you can also use uh, Intel Core CPU if you want to use emulated CUDA cores, but that is horribly inefficient, so I recommend not using that option. And this is for if you have AMD GPU, you will use OptiX for your ray tracing. But in the case of me, I have an Intel Arc A770 graphics card, which is for the Intel Alchemist GPU lineup. So I will be using one API. If this option does not show up for you, make sure to install the latest Intel driver update so you can keep touch with the latest in ray tracing technology. And don't forget to click Embry on GPU to improve the ray tracing performance. Then we also want to do here is change the undo steps. In by default it's 32, but we have 40 to 64 here. Just in case you make a big mistake, you can go back. And modern computers can easily handle this, so just put it to 64 undo steps, so you can go back if you mess up. And that's basically all the things we want to do here. And then we go back into the car. We can see it's imported into Blender. And that's really cool. That's about it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment if this video was useful to you. And test narrate as the recursion, Nokia Ringtone Fan 43, out.